So when cutting out the leather, uh, it's important to have a sharp knife and since I have taped the pattern to the leather, there's going to be some tape residue on the knife so you can clean it off uh, every now and then. Now mostly I use one of these X-Acto knives, uh, uh, but I also use this roller knife uh, that comes in handy for straight cuts. And, uh, the exacto knife is better for rounded corners. And for the strap pieces, I'm using this strap cutter and then I can tape these onto the straps and cut out the, the rounded bits with the exacto knife. Now also when you're cutting with the exacto knife, it's really important to keep it straight and don't bend it because then you will have an angle on the, on the edge of the leather. All right, so I have all my pieces cut and I'm going to start working on this piece, which is going to be the top of the bag with the zipper and everything else. And the first thing I'm going to do is burnish the edges of all the things that I won't be able to burnish later. And I'm going to try to burnish with the wood glue and water, uh, which I've heard can be good. And I'm, I have mixed it up in a ratio of one to 10. And I'm also gonna use some wax. And then I'll go ahead and uh, glue the zipper to this piece and I'll sew everything together. So let's just get started. And now that all the pieces are glued together, uh, it's time to start sewing and I'm going to use this uh, Chinese leather patcher which I got recently for most of the parts uh, on this project. Uh, on some parts it's going to be impossible because I think it will be too tight so there I have to do hand stitching unfortunately. But for the main part I'm going to use this. So this is a really cheap machine, it's about $100 which means you have to do a lot of maintenance with it yourself but for the price it's totally worth it because it can do leather stitching up to uh, I think about a centimeter of thickness so it's uh, really a really good machine uh, so I'm going to use this for uh, this piece at least and uh, then we'll see how much I can use it for I'm going to sew this strap onto the main piece with the machine but 
When that is done, it's going to be too tight to sew this with the machine as well. So I'm going to punch hole on this piece and on this piece before I can attach it to the main piece. Yeah, it'll make sense. I'll, you'll see what I'm doing. Alright, so it's time to start hand stitching and the main thing to think about is that you get the center points with each other. I've marked mine with a needle on both ends. So I'm going to position this piece like this with the center to center and just start sewing and eventually we will have it all the way around to this side. I also laser engraved the Swedish Maker 2020 on the inside here. Uh, no one's ever gonna see that, but I just thought it was fun. All right, so let's start. So I'm closing in on the last of the hand stitching and my hands are totally ruined by blisters from this waxed thread that I'm using and also from holding all of the needles all the time. But uh, one thing to, to remember when doing the stitches is that you have to keep the zipper open because right now the bag is inside out and once I have finished all my stitches I have to turn it back. So if the zipper is closed, it'll be really hard to get in there. Uh, turning it back is really hard as it is. So, so I'll go ahead and finish the last of the stitches and turn it right back so it's on the right side again. And then it's just about doing the handles before it's done. Alright, so it's finished and I am super pleased with how it turned out. Uh, if you want to make this bag, I'll have a pattern you can download from my website or from my Patreon. And all my Patreons get all the files for all the projects I upload. Now for this project I used green leather, I've never used that color before, but I am pleased with how it turned out. 
Uh, the leather is from a Swedish tannery called Tanjö. I'll leave a link to their website as well. I'm not sponsored, but they have really good quality leather. As for the leather sewing machine, I'll have a link to that below. It was really good. It saved me a ton of time. And the main issues for me was getting a straight stitching line. Uh, but I think I managed okay at least. I made the handles a bit longer than usual just because I wanted to have it on my shoulder when I'm using it. Alright, so that's it for this one. I do hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you haven't and hit the thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Bye.